Hello guys, in this video, we will learn how to use the regex tool or the regular expression tool in Alteryx. So guys, please stay tuned with this video and have a lot of fun. So regular expression is generally used to search for pattern in your document or search or extract that pattern to you to a additional column or to say a new column in your data set. So right now I'm using a data set which consists of seven rows, right? And it, it is some text, but if you carefully observe, each row has a unique thing present in it. It consists of ID and then there's three digit after that ID. This is say some ID or something, right? So I want to extract this particular ID into a new column, right? And in order to do that, we will use the regex function. So in order to use the reject function go to parts drag this regex function and drop it onto a canvas it will open a configuration panel here it will ask you about several options first is the column name to parts so since our column name is document so i will select document here now next what is the type of regular expression do you want to choose right so from this plus button, you can select different types of regular expressions, right? So for example, for digit is slash D, for upper grade slash I, for slash U, for lower grade slash I, and so on. In order to extract the entire words, it's this one. And now in order to separate a particular, you know, column to say some other column, there is a mark group present so you click here so you have to write your regular expression inside this so first pattern is your id and then there is numbers right how many numbers there are three numbers there can be n, n numbers right so in a square bracket you have to mention 0 2 9 so this will show you the numbers so numbers are from 0 to 9 and since there are more than one number right there are three numbers so you can just use this asterisk so this will give you a pattern that after id there is a digit right and that digit is can be one two or many so it will extract based on this particular pattern once you do this so from here you can select whether it is case sensitive or insensitive i will choose here it's case sensitive right next go to this output method choose parse from here because I want to parse it right now next it will show you the output column which you want to keep right now I want to keep it as say ID you can choose the type of that output column so let it be string and size can be anything whichever you want to choose right now it's 14 right and here it is also showing you the expression once you click run button it will extract that ID into another column called and it will show you the output in id column so if you carefully see this id column is extracted from here and is you know present in a new column called id right if you choose replace option it will replace it so uh, on safer side create another column if you observe that there is null present in the seventh row because there is no id pattern present in this particular row i hope you like this video thank you uh like share and comment and don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel hi guys in this video you will learn how to use the formula tool hi guys this formula tool is generally used to create a derived you know uh, variable using a data set suppose i want to calculate you know profit of a particular category of a say supermarket so in order to calculate the profit of a category of a supermarket what i can do i can just simply you know subtract cost from the sales amount and can get the profit right so how to write that formula into you know all tricks let me show you the data set which i am using i am using a data set which consists of three columns one is month next is your previous year sales number and third is your current year sales number and i want to understand what is the percentage change in you know monthly sales so in order to do that just go to the preparation tab select the formula tool from here drag it and drop it on your 
onto your canvas please make sure this is connected to your input data set it will open a configuration panel where it will ask you several options first is uh, whether you want to create a new column or want to replace the value in the existing columns so here i want to create a new column so click add a column write the name of the column which you want to create so i want to create a percentage change column right and then here you can write the expression so just write the you know name of the column so if you can remember the name of the column was current so once you write some of the letters of your variable uh, recommendation will open just click here or you can also press tab then write the expression this minus then the next variable was previous year right so select the previous year sales put this in your in bracket because you know current minus previous divided by previous will give you the percentage change of this year's sales as compared to the previous year right and this will give you a decimal number so i want to convert it into percentages so i will multiply this difference of current year minus previous year in 200 and this whole divided by the previous year number right so just again type here previous and this will give you a recommendation to select the previous year sales you can either press tab or just click on previous year sales this will create a formula from here you can choose the data type whether you want it as a string boolean integer fixed decimal float so right now i will choose float right float will give me you know decimal numbers as well to five and six decimal places and once i hit the run button it will create a column called per change and will show the you know percentage change if i just click the output node or formula tool it has created one column at the end which is percentage change it has given us the percentage number so as compared to previous year this year sales has reduced by 14.49 percent for month two it has reduced by 12 percent for month four which is april you can see that it has increased by 68 percent right so other options are also available in this so suppose you want to you know create one more formula in order to create one more formula you can just click this add button write a formula here similar to the one which we have written you know in the above you can also add one more and suppose uh, you do not want to you know use this particular slot to write the formula just click the delete button here it will remove this and again it will remove this there are also some inbuilt options available like you can click here you can select different functions like floor mod return conditionals like to write if else if else then and so on you can select the date time function some mathematical functions like uh, absolute cause ceiling log etc so you can explore these these things right so i hope you like this video and you are able to understand the logic behind the formula tool please uh, like share and comment and don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel